Welcome back. You're with Expresso. If you have just tuned in, this is a feel-good Monday. Oh, man, we are kicking your week off in just the right style. Now, one of the most gratifying parts of my job this year has been seeing the response to our schoolboy rugby, to our youth sport in general. And a lot of that attention has been down here in the Western province where I think our youth rugby couldn't be looking any better. Now, if you wanted to be inspired about where you could end up, one man embodies all that is good with South African rugby at the moment, Sia Colisi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake your hand very carefully here. Sia, welcome. You have had a fantastic year up until this point. Of course, a broken thumb is gonna put a major spanner in the works. How are you doing? Where do you stand at the moment with the injury? How long before you can start your rehabilitation, man? Um, I'm only starting next week, um, next week, uh, Monday, because I'm going for a shoulder operation this weekend. Um, so it's, it has been a hard season, but it's been a good season too. But I think I, I quite needed the rest after the huge year of the Super Rugby and Curry Cup last year. How much of a step up is it? You know, we hear about the big hits, the, the gridiron-style rugby now that has um, become the Super 15. How much of a step up is that in a physical sense? Uh, it's huge, yeah, uh, because the guys are bigger and they're much older than us, us youngsters, <laughs> you know. Um, but the, the most important one is mentally. You have to... Be ready mentally because the guy, if you can't do it every week, like every day of the week, then you won't be able to make it. And of course, it helps. You've got to have a team behind you looking after you. Um, and now, there, you're not the only youngster in that side there. Uh, you were saying about seven under seven 21 months, players. Yeah. That's an incredible number of really young guys. Where did it happen for you? Where was the step up for you? Where did you, you kind of realize, okay, I've now cracked it, man? Um, I think I was in the in it was in the institute where, I, when I came here when I was 19, there's like a whole institute thing. It's like a, a family vibe kind of thing. It's where they start with the under 19 boys. Like all those seven youngsters actually came from the rugby institute. It's one of the best places that I've been to. Like they break you down to, to try and put you to a point where you just say you, you can't anymore and you give your best at all times. And you really have. I think out of all of the players, why you've earned so much respect this season is because you leave nothing out, <clears throat> excuse me, on the field. It's been amazing to see you grow. What's next, man? <clears throat> you know, the Springbok jersey, you know that that is yours to go and grab it. Um, how long before you can start focusing on the playing again? Are you, are you kind of um, sitting back for the rest of the season now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out for the rest of the year. I'm going to start with Maria and then start playing next year again. Four, four months out, actually. How do you handle that mentally as someone who is so invested in the game and your rugby? How are you coping with that mental element? Not that great because <laughs> it's kind of boring without it. But I'm just um, find, finding time to spend um, time with family and friends and I enjoy it now because you don't get a lot of holiday. I was going to say, so oh, how does that feel? Do you remember how to relax, man? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to ask, you know, as one of the young players, what inspired you to, to take the game to this next level? Was there a game, was there a meeting with a particular rugby player, something that inspired you to become as, as great as you are, even at this young stage? I think it's, you just think about your future sometimes, and um, I realised that I, I think I can make it in this, so, and then I started taking it seriously, and the people backed me from back in PE, and so, because not, there's not a lot of quarter rugby players coming from where I come from. So the people backed me a lot, so I just thought I should do it. Well, I think you might find now that we might see a bit more quality players coming out of um, the area. You certainly have inspired a lot of youngsters. Now, we know that we've got some of the best fans in the world down here, especially amongst our young rugby players, and I think that's why we keep seeing these brilliant youngsters. So we wanted to reward our young Western Province fans of rugby, in particular the schools that have given us some unbelievable rugby this year. And we've got a little competition in the works, and we want to put this out specifically to our schools because of the unbelievable support you have shown, first of all, Expresso Youth, but the Western Province Rugby Union. Now, we are going to ask you to do something quite challenging. We want you to put your creative hats on, seeing as we are building towards Creative Cape Town. And we want you to design a DHL Western Province rugby flag. Now, the winning school, that class, is going to be joining us at one of the biggest derby games in the Curry Cup season this year on the 29th. We are going to be taking you with us to Newlands to watch what is going to be an explosive rugby match. All we want you to do is design us a DHL Western Province flag, post that on our Expresso Facebook page, 
and it is going to be a showdown second to none. And of course, we'll get the likes of Sears to help us judge that competition. But thanking you so much for joining us this morning. We're going to bring you back to discuss the competition a little bit more um, and get a bit more into um, the rugby this weekend, which of course was a bit of a, a crazy one, both on the Bork and the Western <laughs> Province side. But you want to stay tuned for that. More sports coming up at 7 o'clock. Sia, thanks for joining us, man. Thanks, man. Thank you.